Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're taking a look at the Be Quiet Pure Loop, an all-in-one water cooler. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, Be Quiet reached out to me and asked if I'd take a look at one of their water coolers, and I said sure for a fair and honest review. And they ended up sending me the biggest water cooler they had, the Pure Loop 360 millimeter. Opening up the box, and the very first thing I see is the massive radiator and pump. This thing is not small, but it's also packaged pretty well. There's also three included fans. They also included quite a bit of coolant. They recommend topping up the system every couple of years, so I'm assuming this is going to last a while. And last up, mounting hardware and thermal paste for both AMD and Intel chips. The instruction booklet is pretty simple and straightforward. Looking at this system, and there is something I want to immediately point out. The cooling block does not contain the pump. They got around the Asetek licensing by creating their own solution. The pump isn't on the cooling block at all, it's actually on the tubes. This is pretty unique, it's both good and also bad, and I'll explain more later. Before I attached the fans or screwed anything in, I wanted to figure out how I was going to mount this cooler. There are a few different options, you can front mount it or you could even top mount it. The front mounting issue that I was running into was the fact that the pump is sitting higher than the radiator. What would happen in this case is air bubbles would start to collect right where I didn't want them. So it didn't give me a lot of options here. Ideally, you want the pump lower than the radiator, and if it was built into the cooling block in this setup, it wouldn't be a problem at all. But since it's built into the tubing, and there isn't a lot of space between the pump and the radiator here for tubing, it doesn't really let me bend this pump downwards to keep it lower than the radiator. Flipping the radiator over so the motor is at the bottom doesn't give me enough tubing to mount to the CPU. Now I did a great job at covering the camera to show you the entire setup here, but you'll just have to take my word for it. Due to the pump placement and a radiator this size, top mounting seems the way to go. The case that I'm using is a Be Quiet Silent Base 802, and top mounting this AIO wasn't an issue at all. There's a lot of clearance for everything, and it mounted up real nice. For comparison's sake, I tried mounting this in another pretty big case, the Be Quiet Dark Base Pro 900 Rev 2. I couldn't mount the pure loop properly on the top, and that's because of a heatsink on the motherboard. There wasn't enough clearance to attach all three fans. Now I did find a solution, but it wasn't really the best solution out there. And all I did was just invert the fan and stick it right on the top to pull out the air. So just a word of advice with the 360 millimeter version of this, just make sure you can top mount it to your case and make sure there's enough clearance. When this thing is installed and running, it looks incredibly nice. I love the look of it. I love the white LEDs here. To me, this looks nice and clean. And if you don't like the white LEDs, you can just unplug them. Here's a sound test of inside the case with the fans running at full blast. In terms of thermal performance, here's the comparison between the Be Quiet Pure Loop and the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4. So this is a water cooler versus an incredibly beefy air cooler. Now let's take a look at the price of these. The Be Quiet Pure Loop 360 millimeter version is $120, which in my opinion is a pretty darn good price. The 280 millimeter version is 105 bucks, the 240 goes for 95 and the small 120 goes for 85. Now for my overall thoughts and whether or not I think this AIO is worth it. I'll start out with my likes. I think the Pure Loop is built incredibly well. It feels like a quality product. The pump is quiet. The fans are quiet when they're not running at full blast. The cooling performance is incredibly good and the small form factor of the cooling block is also a big plus. Now for my dislikes and I have three of them. Two are just general ones and one one is pretty specific, so I'll start out with that one. I don't like the location of the pump on the 360 millimeter version. I think it makes mounting options pretty limited based on the case you have. On one of my cases, I couldn't front mount this cooler. Either the tubing was too short or the pump was sitting too high, sitting higher than the radiator. So with that being said, if you are planning on picking this up to front mount, I'd probably recommend picking up the 280 millimeter version instead. That way you can invert it and have the pump sitting on the bottom. 
The 360mm version in my opinion is best suited in a top mount setup. And for the two general things I didn't like, they kind of go hand in hand when I was stressing the system out and the fans were running at full speed. They were not very quiet. They were a lot louder than I thought they were going to be. The pump was quiet and I was happy about that. When I wasn't stressing the system out, the fans were nice and quiet. I didn't really hear them at all. But when I was stressing the computer out, the fans were very audible. Which leads me to the second point. Be Quiet doesn't have any software to control fan speed. If you want to control your fan speed, you have to do it in the BIOS. This really isn't that big of a deal for experienced users, but if you're not an experienced user trying to set your fan curves, this could be a little bit stressful. Now as to whether or not I think the Pure Loop is worth it, I'll say the entire line is priced extremely attractively and extremely competitively. I think the pros outweigh the cons here. If you have the space for it and you're planning on top mounting this cooler, I'd go for the 360mm cooler, I think it's completely worth it. If you plan on front mounting this cooler, I'd probably stay away from the 360 and maybe go for the 280, you'll have more options. But again, I didn't test the 280 so I can't confirm that its cooling is going to be even in the same ballpark as the 360. I would assume it's also pretty good. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. Let me know your thoughts on the Pure Loop in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.